I think in a very small way, what it is is that it is the story of Europe and America in the 20th century. And that's not to make it sound grandiose, it's just through the eyes of one young girl who's emigrating um, in the 50s. But um, I think that, that, is, that, that the scale of that story is, is contained in there in a way that I don't know that I've seen on screen before. He absolutely, I think, got every relevant beat from the novel and knew exactly what to leave out and what was, what was a sort of blind alleyway. But equally, his dialogue um, effortlessly sat into those Irish mouths in a way that, and he wasn't trying to write idiomatic Irish dialogue. It was, it's quite plain, his dialogue, but it works beautifully, I think. It was very important that Jim and Tony occupy vastly different spaces in the film and feel both like completely plausible but totally opposite versions of men that Eilish could see herself with. Um, and, you know, I think that that's one of the things that is quite satisfying about it. I think that works. I think Saoirse had been waiting for a, a, a large emotional role which was also of her, as it were, and not necessarily just Irish, but I think it does help that it's the first large role she's played on screen where she's speaking in essentially her own accent. Um, and the fact is that when we, you know, when, when, when we sent her the script and when I first met her, she was just in that process of moving from being a young woman who still was sort of living at home to, to branching out, and she just, she, she moved to London and so when I met her like four months later to discuss it, before, still before we had shot the film, I think a bunch of life had happened to her in the meantime and she was quite surprised by that, that actually there was this um, story that she was about to partake in that was becoming more and more her story by the day. It's a story which I think gets that part of growing up, of, of leaving home and falling in love and the complications that come with that for the first time right. And, you know, that's what every 20 to 25 year old is going through.